PennDOT says drivers are ignoring traffic lights near a landslide and it's forced them to close down a road. This is happening on Benola River Road near Elizabeth, which is where we find John Shumway tonight. John. Yeah, the closure will go into effect on Friday morning, and the reason is very simple. This closure has actually been uh, in effect for a while, and the lights are designed to allow traffic to use the one good lane that isn't affected by the landslide. Drivers, however, have been going through the red light. The traffic lights around landslides are designed to help keep the road at least partially open. But lately, there have been issues with this setup on Benola River Road on the edge of Elizabeth. They do run the light. I don't know how many times when I'm going down the road, someone's coming up and they're running it. From the positioning of one light, you cannot see whether someone is coming from the other direction. They aren't adhering to it, and we, we just can't continue to have it operate. PennDOT says the risk is just too great. We're just going to have to close the road down and detour it. It's the safest thing. We can't, we can't take the chance of someone uh, crashing into you know, a head-on collision out there. That makes a good excuse to close it. They ought to get off their fat butts and fix it. Currently, PennDOT has no fix in the planning, and once the road is closed on Friday, it will be an indefinite closure with an eight-mile detour. Elizabeth Fire Chief Chad Rager says first responders have response time concerns. We're working on that situation right now, trying to get a, a, a better, you know, route to get down that side of the river. And for folks who live in Benola or anywhere on the other side of what will be the closure. It's going to be a big inconvenience because I'll have to go all the way up to William Penn School and come down. It'll take me about 15 minutes longer to go to work. We know it's going to be an inconvenience, but safety always trumps inconvenience. Now, the locals blame all this on the batteries in the lights going down, and as a result, the lights go on blink. But PennDOT says the lights go on blink. When someone runs the light, it automatically blinks on both ends until it can be reset. Whatever the case may be, this section of the road is going to close down on Friday. And this is not the only place where PennDOT currently has a problem with people ignoring the signals and driving through a construction zone. We'll talk more about that coming up new at 6 o'clock. For now, live in Forward Township, John Shumway, KDKA News.